What's up, everybody? I'm gonna do a video on atomizers and how to clean them and all that. I mean, I've had a bunch of people asking me about what kind of atomizers do I use, how do I clean them, and all that. I'm just gonna do a quick little video, a tutorial on how to clean them and stuff. Um, there's uh, three or four different kinds of atomizers out there that are top of the line that are better than most of the Chinese brand atomizers. Um, that would be the Cisco Spec from Avid Vapor, um, the Icon Vapes, uh, like 510s or the IO6 from IconVape.com. Um, like they got the HH357, which is like 22 bucks that I've heard that isn't quite as good as the hybrid atomizers over at Clouds of Vapor. Um, Clouds of Vapor also has the dual coil atomizers, which I've done a review on, which is pretty damn good. Um, don't work good on the lava tube unless you get a 2.5 ohm and up. Um, I mean, right now what I'm using is a Cisco Spec 3 ohm, um, set at about 5.5 volts. Does the job really good. Um, it's probably one of my favorite atomizers. Um, always got a Cisco ready to go, ready to vape. Um, the only Chinese atomizer that I would recommend using would be the Joytex. You gotta make sure they're genuine though. Um, the SLBs, uh, the other Chinese atomizers, never really care for them. They um, they get nasty tasting pretty quick. They they they'll burn out on you really quick. Leak all over the place, just really not good at all. The Cisco's, the Icans, the Joytex that's pretty much the three main automizers that I would recommend that I use every day, all day. Um, now, cleaning them, there's several different ways of cleaning them. You can use an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner, you can soak them in alcohol, vinegar, some people soak them in coke. Um, what I do is I just um, I, I run water through them, blow them out really good till all the juices is gone, and then I, um, I put it back up under the spigot. I hold my hand on it, the spigot right here, have the atomizer with the uh, the tail end facing down about like this. And just let the water stream out of the tip right here for about five to ten minutes. That makes sure it guarantees all the juice and stuff that was in there is just clean from it. And once you do that, you can um, you don't have to let it sit, but I let it sit for a couple hours, sometimes overnight, and then I put it on my lava tube or whatever, and I take my drip tube off, look down in there at the cool. You got to really pay close attention to this, or you'll pop your Addy in a heartbeat. What I do is I just hit the button on it, just long enough to see it turn orange and let off of it. Do it again do it a couple times and then blow in it really hard sometimes that gets the excess uh, water out of it that vaped up and condensated um, after you do that just keep hitting the button keep hitting your button watching the cool really closely you just gotta keep watching it repeatedly hitting the button and letting off before it turns a bright orange to a yellow color once it gets turning really really bright is when you're gonna pop your coal just just burn it enough to where it's uh, a dark orange and let off. Hit the button again, wait till it's dark orange to let off. You just keep doing that until uh, you don't see any vapor at all coming out of it. You don't hear any sizzling. After that, take it running under the water one more time. You don't really have to do that, but that just guarantees you're getting the ashes that burnt off out of it. Once you do that, let it dry again. Drip about seven drops wait one minute drip three more and it's ready to vape it's pretty much tasting like brand new and that's the way I clean my automizers I've had a Cisco 3 ohm automizer last me more than seven months and it's still tasting fresh still tasting new so obviously I gotta be doing something right um, but yeah I guess that's it um, if you have any questions comments feel free to ask Vape on people, vape on.